Hello students and I am back with my new videos and in this video I am remove your concept and misunderstanding about amino acid that is what are essential amino acid what are non essential amino acid what are semi essential and what are conditionally essential amino acid because I know lots of students who are confused about what is sir what is essential amino acid what is semi essential amino acid what is non essential amino acid and what is conditional amino acid so let's talk one by one and after this video watching this video i hope your concept will be fully cleared so first one is our so amino acid so what is amino acid so its name always says amino amino means ns2 group and acid means coo as group it means the organic compound which are made up of amino group and carboxylic group that is called amino acids and remember one thing this ns2 group are present always at alpha position so the amino acid is also called alpha amino acids so remember this because this ns2 group always present as alpha position alpha carbon so this amino acid is called alpha amino acid so sir what is the importance of amino acid sir why we study amino acid what are the importance so we'll talk later that is essential non essential so just before understanding it just to understand what is the importance of amino acid only in two minutes so and we know amino acids are the monomer monomer of protein it means that when protein synthesis occurs in our body there is a monomer that is called amino acid it means that large number of amino acids at first suppose amino acid 1 amino acid 2 so etc etc so large number of amino acid are jointed together by a bond and that is called peptide bond which bond peptide bond so this bond is called simply peptide bond so large number of amino acid are jointed together with a peptide bonds to form a particular proteins and we know protein is the building block of our body so that is the importance of amino acid so now the question is that sir what is essential amino acid what is non essential amino acid what is uh, conditionally essential so generally all the teacher and lecturer divided amino acid into two group that is essential amino acid so two group that is essential amino acid and then after non essential amino acid actually this is right this is right but this is surface only when we move deep deep to this series amino acid classification of amino acid on the basis of nutritional requirement deep deep study when we move deep study then there are four types of amino acid classified into four groups so classification of amino acid on the basis of nutritional requirement are four types surfacely two types that is not a mistake but when we move to deep then there are four types so first one is essential amino acids and second one is semi essential amino acid and third one is non essential amino acid and finally conditionally essential amino acid so when a teacher or lecturer classified amino acid into group that is not mistake but when we deep study then there are four types of amino acid on the basis of nutritional requirement so first one is essential amino acid so what is sir essential amino acid so essential amino acid are those amino acid which body cannot be synthesized itself it means that required in our daily diet it means that they require in our daily diet so this acid is amino acid is are called essential amino acid and this can be memorized by a short trick if you never watch my previous video so please i recommend i suggest you to watch this video because this is the very good tricks i hope all the best in youtube this one trick is our just one minute mount veil path is essential for climbing how can you remember the name of essential amino acid that is mount veil path is essential for climbing so this one is capital here written is name of the particular amino acid and this is here a small is not necessary but it only included for study for remembering the trick 
in short time so mount will path is essential for climbing because this is a essential amino acid so i so i so here i write written essential so m m is methionine t theronine v valine i isoleucine l leucine l another l lysine p phenyl alanine a alanine <coughs> sorry arginine t tryptophan h means histidine so these are the essential amino acid okay clear and i suggest you to watch my previous video that is a short trick about amino acid essential amino acid so second one is semi essential amino acid so what are such semi essential amino acid semi essential amino acid are those amino acid which required only for children because children body cannot manufacture cannot produce this amino acid itself for example here this is a that's it arginine and histidine clear so arginine and histidine cannot prepared in children so they are required in their diet but in adult so these are prepared by body itself so this is called semi essential amino acids clear so example is our arginine and histidine clear so finally essential amino acid are how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 same essential 1 and 2 clear so then after non essential amino acid third one is non essential amino acid so what is non essential amino acid so non essential amino acid are those amino acid which are prepared by our body itself it means that it is not required in extra diet our food so that is called non essential amino acid so how can you remember the name of non essential amino acid there is any trick yes students there is a trick so so trick is that first uh, there are listen here <coughs> a standard amino acid and non standard amino acid amino acid so generally lots of amino acid in our body so what is the function of amino acid to manufacture protein to synthesis protein which is a building block of life so amino acid are finally classified into two group that is a standard amino acid and non standard amino acid so what is a standard amino acid so a standard amino acid are those amino acid which can required in the synthesis or in the preparation of protein and that is called a standard amino acid and non standard amino acid just opposite so these are the some additional amino acid found in our body which is not required which is not required in the preparation of protein so that is called non standard amino acid and these standard amino acid are 20 all together and most recently research so that there are one more standard amino acid but all together we study only 20 okay this is not mistake so 20 so standard amino acid are 20 in number so these standard amino acid are divided into essential semi essential non essential and conditionally essential amino acid so if essential amino acid are 10 in number then non essential are also 10 in number because all together standard amino acid are only 20 in number if we remember the name of essential amino acid then easily find the non essential amino acid if the in option written which of the flying is essential sorry which of the flying is non essential then we use which trick essential amino acid just use this trick if there is no any amino acid like that like methionine theronine then there is surely non essential amino acid so this is the trick and i have also additional video you you can watch uh, previous video that is the trick of semi sorry non essential amino acid in my playlist that is amino acid so clear or not so non essential amino acid are those amino acid which can be synthesized by body our itself and it is 10 in number generally okay it is 10 in number because okay so the and last one is conditionally essential amino acid so here confusion started sir what is conditionally essential amino acid i never seen never idea about this so let's talk 
so conditionally essential amino acid so what happen in our body due to some circumstances like disease illness our body is unable to produce amino acid itself that is non essential amino acid that produce our body due to some illness and disease it is not able to produce itself in that condition what we do here is written person suffer from illness loss the manufacture of amino acids and need supplementation it means we need some medicines so in that case at uh, that amino acid are called conditionally amino acid actually conditionally amino acid are non essential amino acid it is not required in our diet prepared by body itself but due to some condition like disease illness the body lack the lack the synthesis of non essential amino acid and we need some medicine supplementation and that is called conditionally essential amino acid and the example of uh, arginine glycine cysteine triosine proline taurine so these are the example of conditionally essential amino acid and you can take a screenshot uh, okay so take one time so so this is all about the amino acid so in surfacely amino acid are divided into two category on the basis of nutrition that is uh, uh, essential non essential but when we deep study then this is four that is essential semi essential non essential and conditionally and here also example written so if you have any problem like that so please comment below and never miss to subscribe my youtube channel from because from this channel we are going to upload lots of video about concept about trick and this is all about in easy a and if you are preparing medical entrance or as well as some subjective entrance i hope this video is very good very important for you and thank you bye bye take care